both the AFC and NFC Championship games for the 2016-17 NFL season will be played on the same day, Sunday, January 22nd, 2017. The NFC Championship game will go off with a start time of 3.05 p.m. Eastern on Fox, with the Green Bay Packers visiting the Atlanta Falcons. The AFC Championship game will take place on the same day with a start time of 6.40 p.m. Eastern on CBS, with the Pittsburgh Steelers visiting the New England Patriots. A shootout is expected in the NFC title game on Sunday with Aaron Rodgers and the Red Hot Green Bay offense facing against Matt Ryan and the Atlanta offense that led the league in points score this season. Odds makers definitely think it will be a high scoring game as the total is listed at 60 points, which is the highest number ever for an NFL playoff game. The total of 60 is the second highest NFL total ever. A week nine regular season game between the Rams and the 49ers back in 2000-2001 season was the highest ever at 61 and a half. The Green Bay offense has been virtually unstoppable in the last couple of months as the Packers have won their last eight games, including a thrilling 34 to 31 victory at Dallas last week. Aaron Rodgers is needed to put up a lot of points because the Green Bay secondary is banged up and the overall defense is weak. The Green Bay defense is in serious trouble this week as the Atlanta Falcons feature the highest scoring offense in the NFL. The Falcons rolled past the Seahawks last week with Matt Ryan carving up the Seattle secondary. He should be able to do the same thing on Sunday against a weaker Green Bay secondary. The Falcons averaged over 30 points per game this season and it is hard to see them having any difficulty moving the ball against this Green Bay defense. Taking a look at some betting statistics on this game, the Green Bay Packers have gone over the total in four of their last five playoff games, while the Falcons have gone over the total in six of their last eight playoff games. The Packers are 4-1 against the spread in their last five meetings in Atlanta, and the underdog in this series is 8-2 against the spread in the last 10 meetings. The AFC Championship game will feature Tom Brady and the New England Patriots, who will look to win yet another AFC title game and represent the AFC again in the Super Bowl. To do so, the Patriots will have to slow down the Pittsburgh Steelers offense that features Ben Roethlisberger, Le'Veon Bell, and Antonio Brown. The Kansas City Chiefs held the trio in check to some extent last week as the Steelers had to settle for six Chris Boswell field goals in an 18-16 win. The Pittsburgh defense played well, but they will have to take it up a notch as they face a much better offense this week. The Steelers haven't gotten the attention that some of the other teams have received in the playoffs, but Pittsburgh is red hot as they have won their last nine games in a row. The Pittsburgh defense has improved in recent weeks and the offense is as explosive as ever. Pittsburgh's offense will get a stern test this week against a New England defense that finished the regular season ranked first in the NFL in fewest points allowed. The New England offense is led by Tom Brady and he has some weapons around him, including Deion Lewis, who scored three touchdowns last week in the win over Houston. The New England offense should be able to do a lot more damage against the Pittsburgh defense than Kansas City did. Taking a look at the betting statistics on this game, Pittsburgh has not done well in the series against the Patriots, going 4-11 against the spread in the last 15 meetings. The Steelers have been a team to bet under the total in the playoffs lately, with four of their last five playoff games going under, while the Patriots have been a good team to bet over, with five of their last six playoff games going over the total. The betting public usually thinks that conference championship games will be close, but that has not always been the case. In fact, more than half of the title games have been decided by double digits since 1970, with almost half of the games decided by 14 points or more. Even though the games are not always close, the underdogs still have not been a great bet against the number. It's basically a 50-50 proposition. Betting the over has been the way to go in the championship games with more than half of the last 50 games going over the total. The home team wins about 60% of the time in the title games, but they are just 50% against the spread. In recent years, betting the over has been a good way to go with about 70% of the games going over. That trend has changed a little bit lately, with three of the last four games going under the total. Looking at the top seeds, top seeds from the 2016 regular season were the New England Patriots and Dallas Cowboys. 
The two top seeds from the 2015 regular season were the Broncos and the Panthers. The top seeds in each conference are supposed to have a big edge when it comes to making the Super Bowl, but getting the top seed does not guarantee anything. Since 1975, the top seeds have won the title just over 50% of the time, which sounds pretty good, but remember that the numbers are not nearly that good lately. From 1975 to 1999, the top seeds won the Super Bowl title over 70% of the time, but only four top seeds have won the Super Bowl since 2000, and that includes last year's Denver Broncos. Less than half of the top seeds have even made the Super Bowl since 2000, 